From the ABC 15 investigators, the city of Phoenix's quiet zone has been suspended. So that means the area of downtown Phoenix is no longer a 24 7 quiet zone. So trains that go right through there can sound their horns any time of day. And our Nicole Gregg learned the city was given time to fix safety concerns, but it didn't. It's eh, done eh, at every intersection. And um, you can't sleep. Greg Axelrod recording this video. I have a video of it, what it sounds like in my condo at 1.13 in the morning. He lives in downtown Phoenix. 18th floor, facing down right over here. He's used to the sounds of a city life, but not lately. What does it sound like? It sounds like a horn. I mean, imagine the worst possible sounding train horn at 2 o'clock in the morning blowing from here to there. Greg says a few weeks ago, he and others who live near these train tracks started waking in the middle of the night. These signs now mean nothing. Yes, that's our quiet zone, right? There's our quiet zone signs, but right now they don't mean anything because the city of Phoenix has let us down. A spokesperson for the city of Phoenix saying their quiet zone designation was recently suspended because of recent development in the area. Local cities can apply and receive the designation from the U.S. Department of Transportation if they can show they've mitigated risks around train tracks if no horns are used. This area between 7th Avenue and 7th Street has been designated a quiet zone for nearly 50 years. Now I asked the city, how long will it take to reestablish this as one? And they tell me they don't have a time frame. The Federal Railroad Administration telling ABC 15 that during an inspection in February, there were concerns around safety treatments. The feds say the city was given 30 days to remedy the problems and after 60 days, no changes. So the city's quiet zone was suspended. Boy, they had 60 days. City of Phoenix, you had 60 days. So you feel like someone dropped the ball? Yeah, yeah. Phoenix officials say they're working proactively to restore the quiet zone by installing new signage and will continue work this week. But the FRA telling me it may take several weeks for the non-compliance concerns to be fixed. Reporting in Phoenix, Nicole Gregg, ABC 15, Arizona. Nicole, thank you. We reached out to the city about the issues being discovered four months ago. A spokesperson said they're still looking into our question. We were not able to get an on-camera interview with them.